So, you love scratches and you want them now. Not a problem. First thing we need is to create the base for our scratches. Shift A, S, Voronoi. Set distance to Minkowski, closest to Crackle, and scale to two. Now, we're gonna control the exponent with noise, so press Shift A, S, Noise Texture, set scale to 6.9, detail to 16, and drag color into exponent. Press Shift A, S, color ramp, and drag it over the connection. Move black to 0.296, and to control how deep the scratches are, press Shift A, S, color ramp, leave black and white at the ends, and add three points in between. Gray at 0.068, light gray at 0.095, and slightly dark gray at 0.298, and drag color into fat. Now to add the worn down look for the details, press Shift A, S, Musgrave, change scale to 1.3, detail to 16, dimension to 0, lacunarity to 1.6, and gain to 0. Awesome, now we gotta mix these two together. So, Shift A, S, mix RGB, change fact to 0.208, drag color into color 1, and drag Musgrave into color 2. And finally, to control all the detail, press Shift A, S, color ramp, move white to 0.727, add a gray point to 0.241, and drag mix into color ramp. So, here we have a black and white scratch map, and if you drag it into metallic, you can press Shift A, S, invert, and drag it in for a metallic map. And you can use it as a bump map if you press Shift A, S, bump, drag color into height, normal to normal, and change strength to 0.083. Now, to control the color, click the ramp Shift D to duplicate, drag it into base color, plug in color from the mixer, and make the point on the right whatever color you want it to be. The middle point should be a darker version of the main color, and the last point is whatever color you want the scratches to be. You're done. Congratulations! So, here's how all this works. If you want more wear and tear, drag this point farther to the right. To make the scratches sharper, drag this point closer or farther to black. If you want the scratches to be bigger, make the scale smaller. Otherwise, to make the scratches fatter, drag the white point closer to black. And of course, feel free to mess around with the different values to see how it changes the map. But this is the base for a procedural scratch map. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.